Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the topic wavelength standards. So why these wavelength standards were formed? See we have seen that in material standards there will be variation of length as the time passes. Because the material standards are made up of alloys they will undergo molecular changes and there will be change in the length of these standards. That is why they thought of making light as the basic unit to define primary standard. So it was developed back in 1960s. So developed in these standards were developed in 1960s. Because of limitations of material standards, it is light source was considered to be used as basic unit. To define primary standard. So, what did they do? For this purpose, they selected a suitable light source from which a given radiation could be selected. So, first, what did they do? They selected a suitable light source from which selected radiation was used. After selecting the light source and uh, selecting the radiation what did they do? The wavelength of the selected radiation was measured and it is used as the basic unit for length. So they started measuring the wavelength of and used it as basic unit of length. See, because this is not a physical quantity, we do not use any metal here, we are using light here. So, it need not be preserved. Since wavelength is not a physical quantity, it need not be preserved. In these wavelength standards, they used the substance Krypton 86 substance. In wavelength standards, substance Krypton 86 isotope Krypton 86 is used because it produces sharply defined interference lines and its wavelength was most uniformly known at that time. So in, in 1960s, this substance Krypton 86, its wavelength was most uniformly known and it could produce sharply defined interference lines because it produced sharply defined and its wavelength widely known. So how do these wavelength standards define meter? So according to wavelength standard the meter is defined as 16,50,763.73 wavelengths of orange radiation in vacuum of Krypton 86 isotope. Meter defined as 16,50,763.73 wavelengths of orange radiation of krypton 86 isotope in vacuum maintained at 68 kelvin temperature so this is about how meter is defined in wavelength standard the next how yard is defined in wavelength standard? 
yard is defined as 15,94,058.38 wavelengths of orange radiation in vacuum of krypton 86 isotope. 94,000 wavelength of orange radiation of krypton 86 isotope in vacuum. Yard may be also defined as 0 0.9144 meter. Okay, so this is about wavelength standard. Now, let us get into the advantages of wavelength standards. Why they have considered of making these wavelength standards? So, in wavelength standards, the length does not change. We have seen in material standards due to molecular changes, length will vary as the time passes by. But in wavelength standards, the length will remain same as we are using light source here. It can be reproduced easily if destroyed. Easily reproduced if destroyed. But in material standards, it is not possible to easily reproduce if once the material standards are destroyed. This primary unit can be easily accessed to any physical laboratory. So, this primary unit that is light can be easily accessed by any physical laboratory. Any physical laboratory. It can be used for making comparative measurements with higher accuracy when compared to material standard. So, for comparative measurements also, wavelength standards can be used. But material standards, it is difficult for comparative studies. Comparative measurements. The last point, wavelength standard can be reproduced consistently at any place and at any time. So, they can be reproduced consistently at any place and any time.